just go, you know the vibes. Yeah. Got the hills, baby girl, don't cry. Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Denisha Sadi if you are new. And in today's video, I'll be giving you guys a life update. So I asked you guys to ask me some questions and they relate to what I was already going to speak about. So the first thing that I'm going to address is my trip to Barbados. Someone asked, how was traveling or how was your flight something like that that trip was amazing i had a great time like i went to so many different places um there were days i was at home bored doing nothing and at the end of my trip like the last four five days i became sick so i was literally just sleeping the day before I was coming back to St. Vincent, I had to go in town and do some errands and I think we went to the movies that day as well. I was still sick so y'all, I was sneezing but it was okay. I didn't have sore throat for like an extended amount of days, just like the first two days or the first day. Um, But besides that, it was great going to Barbados on the plane flight was fast um but i think coming back it felt faster but that day when i was coming i think both days were kind of rainy but it was a lot more like more humidity in the air i think going to Barbados i don't know if this affects anything and there was more turbulence going to that coming back i can't even remember experiencing turbulence coming back anyways i kind of closed my eyes i wasn't asleep but i closed my eyes coming back um i did so many things i tried things that i didn't get to try before only thing that i'm a little bit upset about was when we went to starbucks that last day I should have just went with like some frappuccino something something but no i wanted the dragon fruit and mango something something and they didn't have any dragon fruit and apparently they didn't have any mango well she didn't tell us about the mango but she told us about the dragon fruit so i ended up getting kiwi iced tea that had absolutely no taste I'm pretty sure they're supposed to ask you like how many sugars you want or you just said it randomly i don't know but trip was amazing um if you haven't seen the vlogs already go ahead and check them out there are like three different parts um it was really great boatyard recommend animal claw cave recommend batsheba recommend even just going in town and just kind of exploring through town in a way i recommend beaches anyone really i recommend paradise beach is so beautiful and so uh, how to put it like people aren't usually on the beach every day there so it's kind of like secluded in a way but um i heard that on sundays and like holidays it usually is packed when would i be going back to Barbados again i don't know i have like an idea but i i don't know fully they even got to go to the ue campus and like drive around that was really great and interesting and i got to spend time with my family made a few acquaintances met new people met people that like i would never ever see again probably like at all instance like they had a group was just dancing and having a good time and i don't think i'm going to see them ever again there's like a slim chance of that happening i know the other people that i've met there's a wider chance of me meeting them again because they actually live in barbados um 
but it was a great experience but traveling is a lot of money it is <laughs> it is a lot of money however i do not regret any cent that i spent and i really gotta show up my cousin christopher who like made me feel you know welcome and you know did things for me that i wasn't able to do where am i going to travel next to i don't know um i have places in mind but it's you know getting accommodation it's not just buying that plane ticket and going wherever you like you have to have somewhere to stay whether it be at a hotel or a family member's house which i was staying at a family member's house that is it on traveling but one thing i must say is be careful when you're booking a flight don't even use paypal just don't do it because <laughs> long story short i paid for my flight the airline company never received it the bank hold, held my money for like 30 days but i still just went ahead and purchased another ticket again so that went through but i reached out to the bank as well and you know let them know what was happening and provided evidence as well so the next thing i want to talk about is my biggest achievement for this year so far like i've achieved so many things this year that if i was to just went about my day and not actually sit down and think about these things i wouldn't have noticed um but my biggest achievement this year is drum roll, getting in to university so Although for some people it might be like, oh, staying is going to be their biggest achievement. Obviously, staying is and graduating with an amazing GPA. Point zero. We're praying for that. But yeah, I feel happy and excited because I know that going to university is something that I always wanted to do. I remember like literally sitting in the computer lab while i had sbas to do because i didn't have a computer when i was in secondary school and i was looking at different universities da, 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 you know trying to figure out what to do at that point i really didn't know like what god wanted me to do or what his purpose was in my life um i was kind of lost not gonna lie but i had an idea of where i wanted you know my life to go so with that being said i am doing a bachelor's degree in psychology and a minor in human resource management and i am excited because if you've watched my last q a i think i mentioned that i want to become a psychologist and i mentioned all different other things that i want to do with my life and you know that is one step closer to achieving these goals um i'm still waiting on certain things to play out and see you know where god is going to take me but i do believe that if god plants well not plants if god gives you a seed to plant and you start planting it he's going to provide you with the tools needed so that tree can grow and bear fruit so yeah i'm nervous gonna lie but god's got me even when there are times that i feel a little bit doubtful anxious or worrying i know that he has me what else is happening in my life right now oh i should have talked about this when i was in barbados well when i was on the topic about barbados but i've realized that i am allergic to a particular fish swordfish and y'all this fish tastes so good to me i'm honestly upset now i kind of feel like how people be feeling when they say they're lactose intolerant like but you see the difference with being lactose intolerant and allergic to something is that all you're gonna be probably doing is vomiting and using the toilet which i would rather do that than have rashes 
all over my body like I can and I'm finally getting my wisdom teeth like they were always kind of like trying to come out but they're literally coming out of my gums right now and it doesn't hurt every single day but there are more days where it's painful um and there are other days where i don't even notice it however when i'm eating i literally feel like i cannot eat on this side but hey it kind of chilling right now but while i was in barbados like all four spaces was hurting me i feel like if i'm late to this wisdom teeth thing because everybody around me has already experienced it <laughs> even people younger than me but it's okay you know god is always on time he knows why he didn't allow that to happen before as of right now going back to the university topic i don't know how often i'm going to upload a video anymore and my videos might most likely be vlogs i wouldn't do as much hair content as before because hair content takes a very very long time to edit as a vlog i just cut out what i don't want or I edit it in an aesthetically pleasing way which is kind of easy for me but hair content oh hair content you have to do voiceover sometimes <laughs> most times me like I have to do voiceovers because it's just easier to just do whatever I'm doing and then do that instead of trying to talk and do my hair at the same time when the Sun is going to go down on me and I don't really wash my hair that early in the morning either. But I'm not going to stop making hair content. But I'm just going to hold back on my like, creating a lot. And I might do more like tips and tricks and whatever. And if you guys want to see like university content, let me know whether it be study tips. Um, what were my expectations and were they met like that's something i might do at the end of the semester um yeah god 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 has been so good to me even though like you know when you're in this waiting season to find out some if something is going to happen like don't try to worry on what you're looking forward to i know it's easier said than done because for me it's easier said than done i might just turn off this camera and i might just start worrying again when you feel that like worry coming in the best thing that you can do is like literally stop and do some breathing exercises and pray and i think that has been helping me a lot i've noticed lately like i really have to like stop and just do it like three four times and then it kind of calm it brings me down a little bit and then i just say like god remove this fear remove this anxiety remove this worry from my heart because i know that is not of you like god god doesn't want you to worry the bible literally tells us not to worry about tomorrow's problem because it will take care of itself and i know it's just human nature that we are worrying and plus we have the devil literally standing on our shoulders feeding us doubt i i have to tell myself like look get away whatever you're trying to tell me is of no importance because God has always come true for me, even if it took two years, even if it took two months, even if it took weeks, he still came true for me. So why am I going to listen to you, the one who got thrown out of heaven? Like, make it make sense. And yeah, I literally just have to tell the devil, go away and leave me alone. So if you're waiting on something, the best thing I could tell you to is literally pray about it. And... Just think about what God has done for you so far. And you realize that 
your hours come true for you now guys that's the end of my life update i have no other interesting news my life is kind of pretty boring right now since i've been back i've literally done nothing exciting like oh my gosh i'm having the most fun in my life yeah i haven't done anything like that which is sad um but that is the end of today's video i hope that you guys enjoyed and please 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 keep me in your prayers it will be greatly appreciated and i'm always praying for you guys so i'll see you guys in my next video Praying God is always on time mm. God first, God, you know the vibes